Hello everyone. Here I am presenting conference paper. The title is Credit Risk Prediction in Peer-to-Peer -peer Lending with the Unsembling Learning Framework. This paper published in 2019. In this paper, author gives the credit risk prediction for P2P lending platform lending using machine learning concepts. These are the presentation outline which I will discuss in this slide key factors, introduction, purpose, related work, proposed method, computational experiments and analysis. And last is conclusion and future work. And there are some key factors which have used in this paper and I will explain one by one which is P2P lending, unsampling learning, autoencoder and last is logistic regression. This is the introduction part. So first discuss what is the online P2P lending. So online P2P lending platform has become a popular way of lending in recent years. Individuals can borrow or lend money directly through an online P2P platform without the help of institutional intermediaries such as bank. It is very important for the platform to predict the credit risk on whether a potential borrower will repay the loan or not such that the defaulting or of borrower can be avoid, avoided as much as possible to keep the platform running healthy so we can say the online lending platform has a large number of transaction every day and the borrower credit need to be evaluated before lending whether the borrower can repay the loan on the time or not will have a great impact on the effective operation of the online platform. So with the development of information technology and the rapid growth of variant data machine learning has been widely applied in the industrial world. For example, product recommendation, ad calculation, real time transaction. Here the purpose of aim to employ machine learning and natural network to solve the credit risk prediction problem of online lending. An assemble learning method was designed which was combined with tree model and autoencoder to construct the model framework. It based on historical data that the chance of whether a borrower will repay timely or not is predicted. It is responsible to assume that the borrower repaying timely is good, otherwise it is risky. In this paper, the author also said the good borrower are regarded as a negative samples and risky borrower as a positive samples. And this paper also designed the prediction process with the machine learning techniques may not only improve the efficiency of the online lending platform but also reduce the lending risk. In the past few decades, many scholars have used data mining techniques to build personal credit assess assessment model. The algorithm mainly includes supporter, support vector machine, logistic regression, decision tree, neural network, random forest, and gradient boost decision tree. You can see in the slide where in 2010, Kim and Sohan write a paper. The topic name is support vector machine for default prediction of SME based on technology credit. And you can see also in 2017, Satri, Sanu and Halim write a paper credit scoring refinement using optimized logistic regression. And in 2011, Ni et al. give the credit card churn forecasting by logistic regression and decision tree. In 2015, Wang et al. gave the food hazard risk assessment model based on the random forest. In this paper, author used gradient boosting decision tree. The figure show the basic structure of gradient boosting decision tree. So gradient boosting decision tree, gradient can be thought of as an assemble of decision tree as shown in figure. The GBT generate a base classifier in each iteration and each cla classifier is trained to fit the residuals 
of the previous classifier without fitting. You can see in the image where the input give to the uh, base classifier, then the uh, go to the for training, then they go to the weight, and then the model will be working. The which is the assemble model. Here you can see the equation where fm x equal to summation t x semicolon theta m. The model can ultimately be formulated as equation where t x semicolon m indicate a base classifier. The eigenvector is denoted by x and theta m indicate the parameter in a single tree model. In this slide, since the number of positive samples in the problem is much smaller than the number of negative samples, the will affect the training, affect the model. Common method for balancing positive and negative sample. Data oversampling and undersampling. Oversampling is to balance the positive and negative sample by expanding the number of positive sample. Undersample is to balance the positive and negative sample by reducing the number of negative samples. However, the oversampling may lead to overfitting and the undersampling may waste lots of effective samples. And you can see here you can see the undersampling is to balance the positive and negative samples by reducing the number of negative samples. Here you can see the graph also which is using the smart algorithm generate a new sample. In the next slide, in the next slide, you can see the in this paper the smart algorithm is used to solve the problem by creating synthetic minority class examples. Smart for for smart smart stands for synthetic minority oversampling techniques. This is a statical techniques for increasing the number of case in your data set in a balanced way. The module work by generating new instances from existing minority case that you uh, supply as input. As shown in figure in step 1 of SMOT algorithm and positive sample are randomly select in step 2. For each sample xn, the m nearest positive sample to x are determined in step 3 and sample is chosen from them m positive samples donated by x1. In the next step, a point between x and x1 is randomly chosen a new sample as shown in formula. Then the x and x1 indicate two points is a coefficient with a range between 0 and 1. The blue dot and the red triangle indicate two types of samples. Here you are seeing the image where the data set divided into three subset. One is train 1, train 2 and test with the proportion of 40%, 40% and 20%. As shown in figure, the train 1 used to train GBT model, the train 2 for the training, the LR model and the test is used to testify the model effectiveness by 5 cross validation. And this slide is ensemble learning framework. And the image shows this is the GBTAELR model which is shown in a uh, figure. So in, uh, we, in the next slide we will discuss about the GBT one hot encoding auto encoder and logistic regression so in this slide you can uh, uh, i will discuss gbt model so in the gbt model with the input of train 1 data and the leaf nodes on which the train 2 data 
might fall or prediction leading to new feature being found. The output of the new feature vector consists of 0, 1 valued element. Each element denote a leaf node in a cart of the GBT model. Each training sample passes through the trees respectively for the leaf nodes on which the model fall on each tree. The corresponding element in the new features vector is set 1. Otherwise, for the non-leaf node, it is set to 0. The size of the new feature vector is equal to the number of all leaf node in the GVT model. For instance, given a GVT consists of two cart subtree as shown in figure, each cart is trained with the train one data, the train one data. The left cart subtree has two leaf node and the right cart subtree also has two leaf node. Without loss of generality, suppose that an input sample x fall on the node x1 and the node x4, the new feature vector obtained by the GVD model will be 1001 in which the zero valued, which is the zero values. Now next is one hot encoding. Talking the, uh, Taking the output of the GBT model as the input, the feature vector is encoded to the endpoint space. Each one valued element will be converted to the point expressed by some unit vector in Euclidean space. The advantage of one hot uh, encoding is that the derived uh, Euclidean distance among the representative features may be more proper than the discrete distance between the features vector. Next is autoencoder. Autoencoder since the dimension of hotpot encoding output have increased dynamically. The autoencoder is used to reduce the dimension. In this paper, the design algorithm of autoencoder may reduce the dimension of the uh, input vector to its 1 8 level as the dimension of the output vector. N now next is LR model. Tracking to the output of autoencoder as the input of the LR model which is a long log uh, linear model for the binary classification problem with a designate sigmoid function. The LR model maps the result of the linear regression to a value between 0 and 1. And next is a denoting a, pr a predicted probability. Usually the output of the LR model is close to 0 or 1 indicating that the confidence level of the prediction result is higher. So in this uh, slide the data sources give me some credit from Kegley competition. In this experiment, the data set consists of 1,50,000 samples. Its configure, uh, configuration is listed in the table. So you can, you can see that the number of instances is 1,50,000 and number of attributes 11, number of positive samples is uh, 10,026 uh, 10, and number of negative samples is 1,39,974. And and the data set is proceed as stated in the data set process section divided into uh, into the three subset one is train one second is train two and and next is then the next slide is experiments design so uh, in this slide the gbt model used 60 subtree and we limit the maximum number of subtree 10 and logistic regression use LT regularization to prevent overfit, uh, overfitting to compare the performance. The binary uh, ROC always method is employed, which has been widely accepted as a way as a way to describe binary classification performance with ROC graph even
so in this slide the prepared data subset the four model are trained after which the classification result are obtained the model in the uh, in the term of the test data set so figure shows the roc curve of computational result by the model the proposed model uh, of gbt aelr has the highest aoc and you can see the gbt a uh, aelr is compared with the jbt lr uh, with regard to different number of subtree and the aoc listed uh, in table which is so in the next slide it shows that the increase in the subtree has little effect on the gbt lr model even though it give rise to the better aoc of the gbt ae lr model in general given gbt use more subtree more subtree jab gbt ae lr model trained uh, have better performance provide gbt use little subtree uh, the gbt lr model is better than the gbt aer model so uh, in the next slide in the next slide you can see the, the image uh, which is i explained in the last slide you can see that the number of subtree which is shown in the left side uh, 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and the uh, that next uh, line uh, column is gbt aelr and gbt al r so you can see the uh, the gbt aelr is better than the gbt lr and now next is the uh, conclusion and the future work uh, for this paper so in this paper the credit risk prediction problem of the uh, online p2p learning has been studied uh, with the assemble learning uh, framework a multi stages uh, assemble learning model like gbt aelr is proposed for the work credit risk uh, credit, uh, credit classification and to re reduce the future dimension and auto encoder is designed and embedded in the proposed model and by one hot encoding the discrete feature can be uh, converted to representative points of Euc euclidean space the computational experiment uh, on an open data set is implemented with python uh, uh, python programming language the experimental result shows that the proposed model is effect, uh, effective for credit risk prediction however considering the auto encoder may lead to time consuming in model training or prediction in the future other deep learning methods such as convolutional neural network may be used to to extract features and the recurrent uh, convolutional neural network is applied to enhance the prediction accuracy with respect uh, to the sequenced loan application so this is the my slide and thank you